Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. You guys really like these so I'm down if you're down. So today is Monday and I am gonna go to the gym. Need to go to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do that again. Maybe give you guys a quick like grocery haul but today I'm gonna take it like super super slow because this weekend I actually filmed and edited the two videos that need to go out for this week so I'm like way ahead of schedule. I'm gonna keep myself ahead of schedule but I'm not gonna like rush to do anything so I'm gonna take my time at the gym see if there's any classes. I think I'm just gonna run and then do apps. So yeah, that's kind of my Monday morning. I'm gonna go ahead to the gym. I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera just because I wanna like work out, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of my Monday morning. I had a really good workout. I tried this new thing that I actually found on Joe Rogan's podcast or like an article that I read about him. It's, what is it called? It's called the Pavel Sadoslin, I have no idea how to pronounce this protocol, but it's basically like when you work out, let's say you feel like you can do 30 minutes, do 15 minutes, or if you can do 10 reps, do five instead. And it's like a philosophy like to get you to work out more consistently and not get a burnout after, because I feel like everyone goes into the gym thinking like they're so motivated and they do like everything at once and then in the next three days they're just like shut down because their body physically is like pushed to their max and then like they slack and then once you stop going to the gym it's really hard to get back into the gym and so I like decided instead of running for 30 minutes I ran for 20 minutes and for my abs I did 15 minutes of abs after I didn't do like the most hardcore exercises but I got through it like I felt better when I did it so hopefully this thing works um, I also picked up a protein smoothie so this one is vegan protein powder almond milk bananas cacao powder no 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 cacao nibs and strawberries so I'm gonna sip on this while I go to Trader Joe's and hopefully I can do like a quick grocery haul with you guys because I have a lot of things to get. I just want to like stock up because I've been eating out a lot. So here are all of my groceries. I'm going to do a quick grocery haul with you guys. So over here is my favorite pizza. This pizza is so good. It's the organic roasted vegetable pizza. I also got some Brussels sprouts, organic spring mix, an avocado, some bananas, some lemon, broccoli, I got some raspberries, and some blackberries. I ended up picking up this. It's the plain yogurt, but it's like grass-fed. I also got some coconut water, some green tea. They have fresh wild-caught salmon now, so that's awesome. I got some almond milk, flaxseed meal for my oatmeal. I got these hemp seed bars, same with these chia bars. Also got some dried mango, savory crackers, these are so good. Mochi, mochi, rice nuggets, some strawberry licorice. This is like the best, oh my god, so good. Noah and I ended up <laughs> digging into them. I met up with him for lunch and I was like, I have licorice in the car. <laughs> We're like, Yes. <laughs> so that is my quick grocery haul. I'm going to put these away. I also just got my package from Ulta. I just picked up some more of this Purity face wash. This is like my go-to face wash. I also picked up the It CC Cream. I've heard so many good things about this, but I'm too lazy to go get my <laughs> color match. So I got the color Natural Medium. We'll see how this works. Hopefully it's my shade. And then I got this exfoliating scrub. I used a different one I think for a while, but this is like one of the best exfoliating scrubs just because there's lots of those like beads in there. And when you use it, it like really makes your skin so soft. But yeah, other than that, I am pretty much like I told you guys already up to date with like my work schedule. So I think I'm gonna tan. Look how beautiful of a day it is outside. Like, honestly, how can I not spend time outside? It's so sunny, and it just feels so good. I think I'm honestly just gonna lay down right here. Like, put a towel right here and just read or something. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. I am so tired. I think the weather is, like, so gloomy out. I mean, it's getting sunnier now, but this morning it was so gloomy, and I was just like... I don't want to do anything. I honestly am up to date. Like, I technically don't have to do anything, but it's so hard for me not to do anything. Like, I feel like I should be doing something. I was, like, watching my apartment tour, like, when I first moved into this apartment. 
and because i renewed my lease and everything i'll be here for a while and i'm not feeling like i don't know inspired i think because i like haven't done anything to my environment for like a really long time so i think what i'm going to do is rearrange my room i honestly have these plans and ideas of like redoing my space but it's like expensive so i can't do it all at once i wish i could but i think i'm going to start with my patio which means like my interior environment won't be shifting that much so i want to like just move my bed <laughs> and maybe put my desk in there. Just something new because I'm feeling kind of like flat. Initially I had had my bed on that wall and then I had my desk over here. I think I'm gonna do that and see how that looks. So here's a quick like overview of the look. I just feel like it fits better. I don't know. I ended up putting my TV on my desk. I don't know. I honestly, I need a new space to play with. But this is gonna do for now. I feel like it's like a new feeling. And then as for my crazy ass living room now, I think I'm gonna end up just giving this back to my mom. I really don't like it. I've had it for so long, it's just like, old and i don't know i'm debating whether or not i should end up moving my fireplace back over to this side and then putting my sofa on that wall i think that's what i'm going to do product i'm going to be redoing this whole room um, but it's definitely more open i ended up putting my fireplace over on this wall that way it kind of like opens up this side with like the mirror when you add a mirror to any wall it just instantly like opens up the whole space so i ended up putting my couch underneath that and then i used to have a giant rug here if you guys remember like when i first moved in here um, but I spilled nail polish on it, so I had to throw it away. So I just threw this here. But eventually what my vision here is to get like an L-shaped couch, like a really nice one. This one's from Ikea and it's not the best. It's like super short here, so it's like really small. And then put like a table or a coffee table in the middle of it and get like a nice rug for my balcony. What I want to do is get a couch here, again, like an L-shaped couch, and then maybe put like a little like high top table over here um, to eat and stuff like that. I just want it to be like comfortable and cozy. Okay. And then I'm going to end up putting this stuff back at my mom's place, see if she wants it. I eventually want to do something to this wall, whether that's wallpaper or maybe a piece of art or something. I have no idea yet, but 
that's kind of what I have going on. I don't know, I just needed something new, so. It's definitely new. So I am on my way to the gym. I'm gonna do the Stairmaster and probably some leg workouts. I really honestly don't wanna go to the gym, but I'm gonna go to the gym, so I'll report back after. I am so glad I did that. I kind of had to push myself, but I did it. I listened to like a few podcasts with Bethany Frankel. I love listening to podcasts because I feel like the time goes by quicker. If I'm not in the mood to work out, podcasts, it like gets me almost like distracted from the workout. Whereas like if I want to work out, I put on like really good music so I'm like pumped up and I can like work out, you know? But I like walked into my apartment and I was like, whoa, I completely forgot I rearranged my place and I was like, wow. But I am just drinking a protein shake. So I usually put like banana in here, but I didn't. I put ice instead because I'm craving like chocolate milk, not really like a thick smoothie like milkshake style. But I just put the chocolate bagel one um, protein. I put spinach, ice, and then half almond milk and half coconut water. Cheers. So for dinner, we are having organic roasted veggie pizza from Trader Joe's. But I decided since we're having pizza, we need to balance it out and eat salads first. Here's the pizza. We kind of already dug into it. <laughs> We're gonna eat this whole thing. <laughs> it's the music, man. All right, guys, so it is currently Wednesday. I just got back from the gym. I went to a yoga class today. I really needed that. It was very zen, and she did like some chakra meditation, which was like really amazing. She did like chants and ohms and all of that. I'm also filming a what I eat in a day video today so if you guys haven't watched that I'll leave it linked on the screen because it'll be up by the time this video goes live but I want to try out this CC cream by IT Cosmetics so like I've heard so many great things it's the number one rated foundation on Ulta.com so I've been wanting to try this Did I put it on my fingers I'm put it on my beauty blender hopefully it's my skin color already looks like a bit dark yeah, it's a bit dark. I might have to get another one for like when I'm not as tan. But the coverage is nice, even though it's two different shades. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's like very light, which I am a huge fan of. And I'm just gonna pop some concealer under my eyes and on a few zits. I think CC cream is like really good for you too. Color correcting cream anti-aging hydrating serum and it has spf 50 in it which is like really good and then i'm just gonna go over with some powder eyebrows my tarte amazonian clay in the color ash blonde i'll leave all the products down below if you guys want to get them i feel like the farther you are away from like the mirror when you're doing your eyebrows the better they look because when we do them up close we think we're like getting them perfect but then they're like too perfect and they just don't match when you're like farther away like every time i do my eyebrows when i'm so close i like go back and i'm like holy cow i got this sigma palette it's the warm neutral volume dose and the colors are so pretty like very natural looking ones. The one that says passion fruit, it's like this really beautiful like blush color. And I'm gonna throw on a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna use the Sigma Sinuicity. I have no idea. Lash. This one's really nice because it's very light and natural looking and it has like an arch in the brush. So it kind of naturally curls your eyelashes so I don't have to use that crawling thing for your eyelashes beaming because i feel like that one's really pretty this one right here put that on the very inner part of oh, i used a different color and there we go here is the final look i need some lips just basic old chapstick this one's really nice it's the earth's daughter organic i got this on amazon um but this one's in creamy coconut so good so this is the final look i really like this cc cream because it's like very very light should i take this off my hair is so greasy today oh my god let's throw in some dry shampoo i use the igk 
jet lag. My cousin is like a really good hairdresser. And she told me this is like the best one to use for your hair. Done! So I was at the gym and I realized when I took off my Fitbit to go take a shower, I have like this red dot that's progressively gotten worse. I really thought it was just like irritated for some reason. But look what ha this is so gross, but look what happens when I crunch it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the skin, it looks like a burn. It's so rough too, ew. It's like, ugh. But I looked up like Fitbit red dot on arm, and I think it's called like a Fitbit rash. I guess like it's like a normal thing in the Fitbit community. It gets like irritated, but I'm wondering if it gets irritated because of the band or like from like the electricity or electronic aspect of it that's kind of creepy um let me know what you guys think i took it off for now hopefully it doesn't stay like this so i am just watching a few youtube videos um and i realized there's like this thing going on about this like youtuber that i watch um about like scamming people and i'm not gonna go into it but i just want to make it clear to people um if someone has like a huge social media following, especially on Instagram or YouTube or whatever, if they are not licensed for what they're selling, don't buy the products that they're selling. I mean, there's so many different people who sell things because of their following, but they're not licensed to do so. Literally, Kim Kardashian could post a thing about a... a a tea that makes your stomach flat and people are gonna follow it because she has millions of followers whereas if there's like a doctor telling you what to do no one's gonna listen because they don't have followers on social media i just feel like people these days are especially like naive when it comes to like products and stuff when i first started doing manifestation wednesday videos a lot of people were asking me for like personalized like one-on-one -on -one help of like life coaching kind of thing and i'm like no like i am not a life coach if i went to like go get my license to be a life coach, then I would do it. Or if I went to, in this girl's circumstance, like had my personal training certificate and like my, what's the word, dietitian? Diet, there's like a degree that you can get for nutrition. If I had that, then yes, I would sell the products that she was selling, but don't buy into these like people who have tons of followings and are selling things that in order to be selling, you should have some sort of degree or license or certificate or schooling behind. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of these people don't understand that concept nowadays, which to me is insane. But yeah, I just thought I would just jump on there and say that because it's ridiculous how people buy things from people just because of a number. Like I understand if you have like merch or something, obviously like, yeah, that's like merch, it's like clothes. If you're selling something that you made, like yeah, but if you're selling something that someone needs a license to do and you are not a professional why are you selling products i don't understand the fact that people like actually buy it is even crazier to me just because someone has a huge following does not mean they're the professional so before you do anything that requires a professional i recommend talking to a professional first maybe before purchasing these products if they're not like licensed to do so or do your research and see if they are licensed to do so so I put together this circuit, it's like an ab workout circuit for Noah and I. He's about to come home and we like to just like knock this out in like 15-20 minutes because he's been sitting at a desk all day. So even though I worked out already, I'm going to go ahead and do this with him. I did an activation set, so this is like activating your abs. And then I have three different circuits and then I have this timer on my phone. It's called intervals. So I just set up this little interval, like you can set it up, so I have three sets three cycles so what it does is it does 30 seconds for the first exercise 30 seconds 30 seconds repeats that three times and then gives you a minute break in between each circuit at the end of the night i have super oily skin so my skin gets really really oily um towards the end of the day my face has never looked this not greasy before this late and i just worked out i did an ab circuit with noah <clears throat> and i was like sweating and the fact that it still looks like this is pretty crazy. You guys, I've been wearing the same shirt <laughs> for this whole vlog. Oh my god. I don't really care because it's so cozy. And it's like super chilly out. And this is like the only knit sweater that I have. Today's Thursday, Valentine's Day. I'm waiting for Noah to get off work. 
he'll get off around five and I think it's like two. I had lunch with him today. I met up with him and had um, Zoe's Kitchen, if you guys have ever had that. So good. It's like a really healthy Mediterranean place. And I got the chicken roll-ups, which were delicious. So my guilty pleasure is the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Actually, the Real Housewives franchise in general. But New Jersey is like really intense right now. I don't have cable because I use like the Netflix Apple TV. I have access to everything, but I have access to like basic cable after a day. Does that make sense? So like I watch everything the day after. So it wasn't like working on their website and I was kind of like just waiting and seeing like hopefully it'll work eventually. But it was like their finale and it was super intense and it still wasn't working. So I was like, how am I going to watch this? And I saw that Amazon had it and I am so ashamed of myself. I bought the episode for $3 on Amazon. So I am going to watch The Real Housewives, my $3 Housewives episode on Valentine's Day because I want to. Oh my god, someone threw somebody in a pool. <laughs> like, you can't make this shit up. Oh, it's so entertaining though. Anyway, I was doing some research because um, today's Valentine's Day. I'm thinking about getting Noah like a horseback riding lesson. I found a trail and it's like an hour ride and they have like really good reviews good afternoon hello um my name is renee i was looking at your website to try to make a reservation for a nature trail like horseback riding ride and renee the best thing to do is to get here early get here like at 11. okay get over to the office get signed in with me and other than that uh, we recommend long pants and close to shoes for your comfort okay Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. We'll see you then. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. To you too. Bye. I'm so excited. I've been like really wanting to go horseback riding again lately. I don't know what it is. And this um, ranch has puppies for sale. Australian cattle dogs. So I get to see puppies and horses. I'm so excited. Just finished reading... How to Change Your Mind. I am extremely disappointed in this book. I I mean, it literally says on the front cover, How to Change Your Mind, What the New Science of Psychedelic Teaches Us About Consciousness, Dying, Addiction, Depression, and Transcendence. And it honestly was a history book. <laughs> like, it literally just told you, like, dates and people involved in the history of psychedelics. It's just, like, so boring. But when you get to the, like, ending of it, I mean, it gets a little bit more interesting because... It actually talks about like people's journeys with psychedelics, which is kind of what I was expecting in the first place. I sound so mean. I wrote like a really bad review too, and I feel awful when I do that, but I always want to be honest. Like I'm really not trying to be mean. It's just like my honest opinion. It was awful. <laughs> like the author too, like he like writes a whole bunch of words in one sentence when he could have just said three words. I feel like he's one of those authors that just like this is so, I feel so bad saying this. It's like, he just says all these like really extremely long words and they don't make any sense when you put them all together. It's like he just wants to use big words just to use big words. But it just makes the sentence super confusing and it's just unnecessary. Like, okay, I just, I literally just pulled open a page. The emphasis on what subjects felt represented a major break with the prevailing ideas of behaviorism in psychology in which only observable and measurable outcomes counted and subjective experience was deemed irrelevant. Like, what? <laughs> Let's, I just opened another page. Wasson was distorting a complex indigenous practice in order to fit a preconceived theory and conflating the historical significance of the practice with its contemporary meaning. It's just like, come on, can you just say it in like one simple sentence? Just because you know what these words are doesn't mean you have to prove them. Like, this was so hard for me to get through. I feel so bad, but like, oh my god, I'm so thankful that this book is over. Ugh. I mean, I read through half of it and I was just like, I might as well read through the other half. I thought it was going to get better. I mean, it kind of did at the end, but like, I have one more book to read. Two, technically. And then I have to order my spring books. This is the book that I'm reading right now, like the fiction book. This is the nonfiction one that I have left to read. It's the Neville Reader. I am so excited to read this, which is another reason why I like flew through the other one because I just wanted to get it over with. Only Noah knows the way to my heart. A big chocolate cake. And if you guys have ever had Publix cakes, they are so 
so good. So I just got this package in the mail from Sigma. I really don't know how beauty gurus open these so peacefully. Like, I look like I'm struggling. Okay, Noah's holding the camera for me. All right, let's see. Oh, I suck at this. Chroma Glow Palette. It's a highlighter palette. Look at all of these colors. Oh, I'll leave everything linked down below if you guys want to check them out. I'm pretty sure these are new products. So they also have a shimmer cream. Another eyeshadow primer. I got this last time. It's really, really nice. It's a highlighter brush. It's a high cheekbone highlighter brush. F03. Thank you, Sigma. I like this one. Oh. You guys, it's the perfect sunset for Valentine's Day. So many pinks and purples and blues. It is so stunning. This doesn't even do it justice. What a beautiful end to a beautiful day. Oh, 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 oh,